Welcome to Stretford Paddock. This podcast is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Now more than ever, our online reliance has been rapidly increasing. We stream our favorite shows. We keep in touch with our loved ones. We even watch podcasts like The Brew. And we like to think our information is safe. But as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Yeah, Surfshark is a VPN service that protects your information by encrypting all the data that you you send through the internet, keeping anyone unwanted from seeing it. Another great reason to use a VPN is because content from different streaming services don't want you to watch everything in every different country. It's a disgrace. There's certain shows for America, certain shows for Canada, certain shows for Mexico, Venezuela, UK, Netherlands. How about you have access to all of them and get access to everything, whether that's Netflix, Amazon Prime, or even football highlights on Twitter. And with Surfshark, you can solve that problem by simply changing your location. Also, if you do go on abroad on holiday and you're in Tenerife and you're in Falaraki, you still want to watch BBC iPlayer, don't you? You still want to watch Premier League football? Change your location back to the UK while you're gone to get access to all of your home comforts. And currently, Surfshark are bringing you genuinely one of the most ridiculously good deals I've ever heard. Use the link in the description and use code PADDOCK, as you can see on the screen there, code PADDOCK. You will get, wait for this, 85% off, which means for something like a couple of quid a month, you can be fully protected. Plus, you get three months for free, and Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So use the link in the description, promo code PADDOCK, as you can see there, for, li again, let me just listen to this, 85% off, three months for free, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. their game right now. Hasn't Tarantino said he's doing one more film and then that's it? I think he said that because he wants to have 10 films as his thing. And, and he's he also a couple of sequels, doesn't he? Yeah, and, he's, and he's, he's ignoring four rooms, which I think is the best attitude for everyone concerned. Um, I like that. Yeah. I like the attitude where I say, that's all I'm doing and yeah. that's all I'm going to do. I don't like it because I like him and he's, he's good. Do you like him though? Yeah. yeah is Christopher is. Nolan the Batman? The Batman one? Yes, that Christopher one. Nolan has done that Batman films, he's done Memento, he's done Inception, and he's he's got the Oppenheimer yeah. one coming out as well. Which is meant to be outrageous, isn't it? But there's also talk that they might push it back so it don't clash with Barbie. <laughs> Stop. Because that's the same audience, isn't it? That goes yeah, to people Barbie. was like, hang on. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch about Oppenheimer. Um, do you know why Oppenheimer was famous? Didn't he make bombs? But do you know where, oh, do you know what? there's so many levels to Oppenheimer. Well, come on, I'm an intelligent man. Give it a stick, give it a Or at least I pretend to be intelligent. I do enough of Wikipedia in to make myself look relatively intelligent. Oh, too soon. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you don't want to, that's fine. I've learned my lesson on that front. Um, yeah, are you a big fan of the Batman films? Big fan, that? mate. Christopher love Nolan? The, yeah, I love the Batman I don't really films, like man. superhero films, but them, that, Batman the Christian Bale Batman, which is Nolan. That, that was ridiculously yeah. good. Oh, God. Right, I remember I went to cinema to see that thinking, what, what, how can this yeah. be a superhero film? This is a joke. It's yeah, too class, good. Like, I, I think, yeah. Christopher Nolan, can I shock you though? Stephen, you're not going to like this. I thought Interstellar was okay. Here's the thing with films that you need a I've fucking never map. It, have you, not? No. you need a map and a, like be taking notes about what yeah. the fuck is going on. All right, I'm, what, what's, what's like, this? All right, I get relative. So right, time goes so faster on there, but that's slower his great, on there. That's his daughter, but that she was giving messages and the time is circular, not linear. But is hang he on a touching minute. the strings of time? Yeah, like what? Just what's going on? When is the gunfight going to start? Do you know what I mean? Where's Tom Hanks? Help me out. You're you're the only one that sat around his table. No, he's I'm actually not. a film star. <laughs> Stop, come on. Do you think that that whole conversation was an elaborate ruse so I could talk about your film career? He's always a ruse. 70, 70, always, 74%, mate. yes. Always a ruse with it's, a motte. It's a, far, it's, a, it's a fair comment, but it actually wasn't. I've just stumbled into it. It stuck this, hasn't it, with you, with me? Just remembered. Yeah, Do you know what, right? It's a mixture, it's though, right? Stuck, of it? surprise, yeah? Because I was. I didn't have on my Ryan Opper bingo. Yep. He's been in a film about David Beckham, a Hollywood blockbuster, no less, right? Didn't Oscar, have that. Oscar worthy. Was Oscar it? worthy. Yep. How you didn't get nominated that year? The is, thing is, it's right, a, it's a black man. mark on the Academy. There's not many people from Drawsden have got Wikipedia pages. Right. And the Trent ones Sheffield, who do, yeah. all right, I am. This is sponsored. <laughs> the ones who do usually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
of, <laughs> let's just say left a trail of chaos. Right, okay. Very well done. And this is going to leave a trail of chaos now because people are going to jump on that and edit it like they do every <laughs> single time <laughs> that I'm on it. Two foot one. Don't change the title to the RH. Oh, that's no. what he done. Don't, don't change it. the first Listen. 76 words <laughs> of the intro to up the RH. <laughs> don't do that. Don't spoil it. I remember, Proud right? So look, that when I first started, like, well, I met Ryan and... Uh, I used to pop on, you know me, he's always saying, I'll go, if you've got a podcast, I'll go on it. Don't matter, you know, usually only me. It's episode one. Yeah. yeah. And it might not even go out. Yeah. Yeah, Jay, Jay'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm, yeah, I'm a sucker for things like that. I remember being on like the most random podcast I think even I've ever done. And all of a sudden you popped up on it. <laughs> it was like, up the You know eye. what? I'm not going to lie, mate. First one that come on the brew, first yeah. time I met you both, went really well. Mate, everyone was getting on to me about coming on these but first podcasts I ever did. It's what we do. It's what we do, isn't it? We make like all the, even some other United fan channels, but I'm loyal. Other, like, ah, other. I mean? I'm loyal. I think you're confused. There's only one. one United fan channel. And right? the I, I was loyal yeah. to the main one, Thank the best. You. That's it. We we the value the only one. very highly because you know Cheers, what I mean. Mate, I would get that in Especially there, when you, you look at the postcode you've got. It's the only one. It's the only thing we value. Yeah, we don't value. We've got loyalty. Loyalty. Ain't got anything. Yeah. That's it, man. Why do you think we've all stuck together after all these years? I love it. But despite our many yeah. <laughs> efforts to get cancelled. <laughs> yeah. We're still here because we're loyal. We're, we're here it. till the end. That's it. it. That is all we care about. Loyalty. Don't matter what you do. We're loyal. Um, people, well, within reason. Don't say that as gospel. Um, <laughs> no, I think to, to get serious, I think Christopher Nolan is the best director working out there. I really do. And I'm looking forward to Hoppenheimer, even if it is postponed by the Barbie release which is just ridiculous what the fuck is the barbie film about um it's about uh, christopher columbus's discovery of america it's about <laughs> barbie the doll in it did he only found barbados anyway yeah that's a good point isn't it laser you found half of it just go a bit up north and you'll find the rest and how can you how can you claim i've found all america like well you haven't you just found a bit <laughs> do you know what i mean and it's like oh yeah we discovered it well he didn't first of all he didn't discover it, it was already there and secondly wasn't it like 70 it million natives living there and all and, and it, I found I, you all. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. What the what, fuck are not, you on about? What, who's this dude? And why has he brought smallpox with him? Because he's about to kill loads of us. You said mad, you know. <laughs> you said mad. I think we've got to the nitty gritty of uh, of what we're talking about. Anyway, how are you, Mister? Very Hopper? well, thank you. Yeah, always a are pleasure you coming basking in. Basking in the glory that your boy Bruno is getting so much deserved praise recently. Yeah, no, he's very topsy you know, turvy in it with Bruno Fernandez. Yeah, I think the fans are forgive me very, for um, modern. I think everyone values him and rates him as the as a great player for us, but I think some fans are divided on him. Yeah. Um I've all, I've always said to you, and I know you guys are massive fans of him, but he's that sort of player that plays on the edge, isn't he? He's looking to play them slided passes. He's a creative sort of player, but yeah. you know, someone's got to do it. And sometimes it's not always going to come off, is it? You're going to have misplaced passes, but no, I'm glad he's getting the, the credit he deserves at the moment. Are you happy with him, Stevie boy? Bruno? Yeah, I'm really enjoying watching the sort of evolution of him playing a bit deeper and holding up yeah. the ball a little bit more. Um, yeah. Because it's not actually diminished his chance creation. He's still he creating just chances. Creates chances like he's, a, he's just got everything goes for him, more or less, isn't it? Yeah. He is, man. I love him. And he's the sort of player that I can forgive if he has a bad performance or if things don't come off because he do not go missing. And you no, want a player who's going to step up. You want a player who's going to try things. You want a player who will give his all no matter what. And there's... You know, people after the Liverpool game were digging him out. And I was just like, he's not... Like, I get after that result we were all hurting, but he's not the one to be looking at yet. Like, he had a bit of a stink, but everyone He did, did have a stink, that, to be fair. You know, he's one of the ones who steps up nine times out of ten. CJ yeah. McNally makes a great point. Steve, don't forget, so will Lord the King of Carpets from Draws the... Has he got a Wikipedia page? And I've not. So will Lord, the yeah. Carpet King of... Well, let's, there's only one way to find this out. Let's have a look. Is he no, well known? Do you know? Is it the one that he, I mean, there was a carpet gaff at Five Ways. Was it him? Nah, there still is a car Well, so a Lord, right, he's known, this, this is important, this, so if you've tuned in to find out the latest about Manchester United, you, you're in luck. Sir a Lord was a British entrepreneur known principally for the manufacture of carpets during the 1960s. Born in Droylsden in Lancashire. Lancashire. There you go. So, Sir a Lord, um, God rest him, he passed away in 1984. Um, but yeah, he's got he's got a he's got a Wikipedia page and rightly so it seems like he was doing a, you know God's he's work. Heavy there. Yeah, man. So is he famous in Drawsdale? No, I've never, not, I've never no, heard of him. You never heard of him? Well, have you two heard of him? Clearly not. And also, he died twenty years before the internet. Right. So who's created that for him? Then that's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> have you not got one? No. You two should have one. I surely. think right. 
on notable people in Droylsden. I think you two have got a shout here for making this list. I'm not going to name all of them. But like Scott Bruton, X Factor. Be careful what you read out here. X Factor finalist in 2008. Is it because the one think... second to bottom we can't read out. Well, you can if you want. We, have we do it. talk about it almost every time we're on this podcast. I don't right, know why. so yeah. I don't know why <laughs> England I'm Rugby Union all, captain all, all like, in 1956, Eric Evans. Right, good lad, are, Eric. Double E's, he was known to his mates. <laughs> Harry Pollitt, who was the general secretary of the Communist Party of Great Britain. Damn right as well, comrade. The Reverend <laughs> Arthur Herbert Proctor. That's the most Victorian name I've ever heard Proctor. of in my life. Victoria Cross winner. We'll have to see what he got for that. Um, blue plaque winner at the church. At the, the church. winner. You win. <laughs> He's won a blue plaque. Yeah. James Ella. Ella. What's he done? He, um, a, uh, he, was the he, he wrote Rihanna. a Protestant Rihanna. hymn. He wrote the, the chorus. All hail the power of Jesus. Right, okay. Um, and he was a hatter by trade. A hatter? Yeah. Is that, how you, is that what you call them? Hatters? What, people who make hats? Yeah. Stockport County. His nickname so. in it, hatters, is it? Stockport Scott Bruton, Bruton who's an X Factor finalist in 2008. Wouldn't know him if I fell over him. No. Who's that, Steve? Other that... famous people include 10cc's Eric Stewart. Not in love. So Howard forget. Donald of Take That. Well, he's, he's up yeah, there. No, he's he's up big there. Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Author Jeff Noon. Aye. Never heard of him. Before. Actress Stephanie Bishop, who starred in the Ken Lokes. If you have to go, oh, you know, she was in the... Um, she was in Looking for Eric. Don't remember her. Right, hang on a minute. Looking for Eric. Right. That's a top film, isn't it? It right? is a top film, but... Literally about 18,000 people are in Looking for Eric. This is true. Like, yeah. it's, it's... With a mask on yeah. outside the car. It's like Ken Loach went to Manchester <laughs> and he wants to be in a film. All you've got to do is stand there and put this mask on. And then loads of people did, and even some people that didn't probably said they did. Yeah. Very interesting one here. So, my mate, Prince Aaron. Not a real prince. <laughs> Boxer Prince Aaron. Yeah. yeah. Right, or Aaron okay. Jones, right. as he's he actually there, yeah. known. Yeah, he's my mate. Yeah. yeah. No, I believe you. I was just wondering where you were going with you. You said your mate. I was panicking. Um, uh, the artist known as Damien, best known for the Time Warp. Oh, let's do, yeah, the Time Warp. Yeah, Damien who did the Time Warp. He's from Jaws. That was a not not, not the original Time Warp from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. There was a remix one in the eighties, I think, or the early nineties. So that was Damien. Clued up on this, yeah. so you love it. Yeah, uh, Del Cregan, and then he's also got another one <laughs> for. Uh, I'm glad you moved <laughs> on. He says Eric Stewart again. So why does he get two and I've not even got one? I, I think you've got to be in there. You've got to be in Both there. Both of you, to be fair. You've got to be in there. More how, so, how, Steve. How More it, so, Steve. How would it describe you in here if you had your own way? I mean, we, we used, I used to be able to edit Wikipedia, and then they took my privileges off me, which is annoying. But I, I wasn't even Why? messing about on it. Can anyone just go and do yeah. that? Yeah. Like, Wikipedia is founded by people, like, who, not founded, but the whole thing is you can jump on, right, when you you're registered. You have to have an account. So, well, that. these are all edited. Yeah. So, I did Toby Kebble. Busy bastards. Yeah. Toby Kebble, who's in, who's in um, <laughs> Dead Man's Shoes. I, I made who else, who else got the time to do someone else's yeah, job no, for yeah. mad. I made his page when I was a lot you younger. You can't do it yourself, though. That's weird, younger, isn't it? 27. Well, it's the, it's the ultimate crowdsourced anything. Because yeah. mm. people, you remember, like, when people always change people's Wikipedia pages, like, because you get away with it for, like, Well, it happens, it yeah, happens zap, every zap. summer transfer window. Yeah. Says a Wikipedia is the United yeah. player. Oh, you zap, mean that thing, any fucking idiot can edit? Right, like Jay. So... It's happened 10 seconds ago. Don't knock it, Steve. That's got me through some See, I'm surprised. situations on paper talk. I, I've well, not used to Well, it could have just been today. Yeah. Harry Kane is South United. What, really? What would be on Steve's or what would... What that's, well, if you could have your own Wikipedia would page, funny, what would you, how, would you, how would it describe you? It's got to say YouTuber, hasn't it? I know it's bad, isn't it? It's bad, but it's true. YouTuber. Could you not... It's see, not for bad, me, what? I've always thought about this for my eulogy. I want, or my epitaph, whatever you want to call it, popular YouTuber. Nice. Yeah, but you're I not want, like, I want popular YouTuber. You're Jay not because it's like media, like media, like sort of like not pundit, but like because you you on you on good yeah, things you and you talk that. like you talk I mean, right and fucking hell yeah. Well, I mean, you're on match of the day. You talk right, 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 right. right. No, I'm not. Be, no, I'm not saying that. But YouTuber's not a weird YouTuber, connotation. Right, but like, that's what it is. Yeah. No, it yeah, usually, I think I you, you, you can't side. When you YouTubers, I think of like the gamers and like Look, yeah, stuff right. like that. You know what Wait I mean? till the redacted happens at the redacted in June yeah. and then all that goes off. Yeah, and then, then it'll change. It'll have a different change. thing. But in a minute, I think it will say YouTuber. I think it's like well known YouTuber if it's not popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Popular you with seven eighths of the city. <laughs> Not so much at Stockport. Controver you're Cheater. gonna, you're gonna controversial have controversial. Why is it controversial? Can, no, you. But why you is just it controversial? say what you because, want. But what's controversial about it? It's not. You it's name not, one thing I've it said. It is that's to some people, but right. not to you, us. You name you know five that. things I've said that's controversial, because one's probably easy. Mate, Today, you could name about ten. 
I, I'm not certainly not going to say them out loud. Um, <laughs> Cancel. No, I think that, that the, the lights are used. No, we're not doing this. We're not. We're really not. Because people clip things up and take them out of context. Then I, you know, I've just just got the kids off smart bright beans. Um, I think they'll, they will use because they like to be like dramatic. So if they just say YouTuber. It's not a controversial YouTuber. Oh, you mean you got to throw an adjective in there? Yeah, it's like you know, well known or popular or controversial yeah, yeah. or divisive. You know, divisive That's is a good, good one, isn't it? Oops, Do you know what I mean? Very good. What word, would yours? Would yours would be coach? Would it all? Mine, you've got player. a Wikipedia page, yeah, haven't you? Got one, but it's not very detailed or anything. I don't. Like, in again, fact, I'm, can we not get you on the Joyles done one? Yeah, can we not add it? Add it yeah, can we get? People? Can we get oh, you on onto guys. the noble? What do you mean? Know. We've got the Look, guy. It's out not of, very. It's not very detailed. Right. If I ask you, you've got. You've even got a bird on there who's not even fucking got a Wikipedia page. To be fair, I should be on there. So if anyone can do it. If I say Do to it. you, who's Scott Brewton? Who is he? I don't know who Scott Brewton Exactly, Bruton, he's an X Factor finalist from 2008. If he's on there, I think we How's can get the, the RH on there. Get Alson on there. Get RH on there. This we is, can't get you. We could, we could put like adopted Jarlston No, member, listen, I'm, I'm adopted by Eccles, mate. Um, <laughs> I like this though. Yours, your top line is very informative. Go on. Ryan Opper is an English footballer who played as a midfielder for Accrington Stanley in Football League 2. There you go. Straight into the point. Yeah. Got some stats here as well. That puts you in the top yeah, two percent of that. Yeah, but the stats list. like it's not updated. So if you updated that properly, it would look mint. It would look stat, but it's not been updated since. Yeah, there's more to add here. Says you at the youth team of Oldham Athletic. Mm. Yeah, for a little so, bit. It's good though. It's yeah. just got a few lines in here. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It needs more. Some you stat. know what I mean? Anyone can needs... get on to me and like I'll give we you. We could a add a little bit like... in it. Come, if we're going to edit it, yeah, film said, star, I, I said, coach, name, nothing about coaching or nothing. You know what I mean? You know, Ryan Hopper enjoyed a popular. Rise to fame Through thanks Stratford to his appearances Paris. on the <laughs> world famous <laughs> brew with Stephen Alston and Jay Motty. Yeah, if Cyril Lord's a king of carpets, <laughs> can we be the king of brews? I think so. I think that's yeah. Do you know what I mean? We'll have people in fifty years mentioning us on someone's podcast going, "Don't forget about Steve and Jay." Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? So we'll, well, I need to get me accreditation back for. Why you, you got it taken off you? I don't I even do anything wrong. I just went to edit summer and they went, "Oh, you're under review." So I was just like, enough, I didn't it? want to be on there anyway. You're all not bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think we covered that very well. Um, anyone else? Get involved in the chat and the comments. Um, what's this? CJ Manali says, any notable Eccles celebs? Mate, where'd you start, right? There's Daddy Simpson. There's Ch Chelsea Keeley, is it? <laughs> no, what's her name? We ran out straight away. Sh Chelsea Healy. The girl out of um, Strictly. Les Battersby yeah. from Coronation Street is a draws and lad as well. So that's Ooh. not even on the list. Is he? Yeah. Les Battersby, Bruce yeah. Jones. That's the fella. Did you know something about him? Bit of trivia. Do you know what he did? Go on, oh, Invented penicillin. <laughs> not far off. <laughs> he found one of the Yorkshire Rippers' victims. Did he? Yes. Oh, he, he did. did. He was he on did. that. He was he on did. that. Um, not yeah. suspicious. No. <laughs> he was on that documentary. I think it's safe to it? say the cap they found the guy that did it. Um, He's on a documentary. Yeah. Oh, so there's never been a miscarriage of justice, Jay? Hey. Not going to sit there with them faces and look at me like that. Controversial, no, no, Stephen no. Alson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, Steve. Are you inferring that the police sometimes get things wrong? I'm, I'm right. inferring that sometimes they get it right, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so Eccles, right? You've got Danny Simpson. Did I mention him? Yeah, he's similar. I yeah. think I've said him twice. Ah, oh, boy, right, isn't it? Um, the trouble is, right... Was this... it his DMs like a bird with a fat ass the other day, <laughs> being like, Danny, what's happening, son? <laughs> um... <laughs> Steve, you're forgetting about the hymn writer, William Cook. Hymn writers! <laughs> that is not even got to number one. So he's on the Echoes one. A hymn writer's on the Echoes one. He's one of the draws, the one. Mate, that's, Listen, that's that's hymn writers FC here going on. No disrespect to hymn writers. I'm sure if there's any, any watching. Oh, bro, but... hang on a minute. We've got, our own, we've got our own subsection here. I'm absolutely doing us a disservice. Oh, you got it by alphabeticals. Like, we've even got, Al mate, Chelsea Healy was right. Alan Henning, of course, God rest him. Give me some of that. Kieran Richardson. Hey, genuinely the 17th best left winger I've seen play for Manchester United. Sure. He's he literally from London. From London. Yeah, London. Well, it's a different game than Richardson. Oh, it is. No, it's a guy from Hollyoaks. <laughs> Even better, eh? Best left back. Yeah. <laughs> is, he any, is he any good at left back? He's probably better than the one. <laughs> Michael Vaughan. Hey, Michael Vaughan. Hey, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah he's pretty Eccles, good. Yeah, he's, he's all right. And he's, now he's been cleared of racism. We can like him. Um, anyone else? Anyone else I recognise? See, they're all historic, yeah. John Moores, the British businessman, isn't he the one that... Liverpool have got Liverpool John Moores University, and John Moores was born in Eccles, get a grip. 
Get your own famous people to stick on your university. Pathetic. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't recognise oh, them. Just to rob some up. No comment. Um, <laughs> what else? Have we got? Yeah, I mean, what a name. What? Well, go on. Norman Bullock. Norman Bullock. Eh? Walter Bumby. Hey, Walter Bumby. You see, Who are these, you? Are, these are the people that built Salford. This is the guy that died in the fourth quarter of 1936. The fourth quarter of 1936? Yeah, Was it an innings? Who's yeah. put him on there then? The four, who, who's terms things? The fourth quarter of 1936? Who's he? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> hey, four score and 12 years ago. It's fair, he played a lot of games. 333 <laughs> games he played for Swinton in really? 1880. What level of athleticism did you need to be I'll a tell you professional what, athlete rough, in 18? How rough do you think those games were? I bet Imagine you could one of them balls in you know the face and not get a I had a rugby history book uh, back in the day. Yeah. And for the first 15, 20 years of, of professional rugby league, they had a death tally for how many players died. So the forwards Jeez. basically just used to have a big fucking tear up in the middle of the pitch while the rest of the team played rugby. <laughs> and people just died. They died? Yeah, it was wow. like 10, 15 a year. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Let's wow. have a look. That See, is weird. Let me pull it up it? on the old Google machine. Go on, you pull that up while I go through some of the comments. Uh, Dan Clark says the brew on a. Can a you imagine people in the crowd. No one fucking died this year. I've been here three weeks the on a spin and no one's, no one's died. Soft. No one's bread hey, bread, no. Absolute joke. Hey. Um, the brew on around the pool in Spain is the best way to spend a Friday. Finally got my dad into Stretford Paddock after meeting Jay against Southampton. You see? That's how we get viewers. Personal meetings. That is it. <laughs> Personal requests. Thanks, Dan Clark. Good to see you. Um, who else is in there? Glenn F. Sorry, Glenn finds YouTube is a con. Sulfur Precincts, he's saying there. Um, yes, famous Sulfordians. Uh, Emma K. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading. Uh, oh, there you go. Ross Murphy says, up the RH. Up um, the RH. Michael Keane says, Albert Finney, maybe Eccles. I don't think Albert Finney is Eccles. I think he's Sulford. Um, but I don't think he's, he's Eccles. I think. Yeah, a lot of people just get flung under the banner yeah, of Salford. Yeah, that's though. it. He's just got Salford, which is annoying because you need to know where. He just said so he was. Finney was born in Salford. What's that? What does that mean? Where? Do you if know you what I mean? If you had your accreditation here now, you could alter that. Was it waste? Exactly. Can't just say Salford. Hey, you think you never heard of Salford? Oh, it's always just Salford. Just, that's what annoys yeah. me with people going, North. Salford is an area of Manchester. Wrong. Salford is its own independent city with a university and a cathedral, right? And it's also got a ton of little areas exactly. within Salford. If I say I'm going, you know, go to the shops, doesn't mean I'm going to the shops in Salford. I could be going anywhere. anywhere yeah. Do you know what I mean? Agreed. Go to the high street. It's like when you watch a drama and it's like, oh, I met him on the high street. Where's that? What are you <laughs> on about? No Does one's ever mean? said the word high street. No, no not, not. Oh, just meet me on the high street. Anyway. Oh, yeah, of course, near the tree. No one's saying up the high street in Salford, are they? No, this no. is another thing. Orphan citizen. Correct. Okay. No one's ever here. No one. What's, what's the high street in Manchester? You're standing on Dean's Gate going, where the fuck yeah, are you? And I'm like, my Market Street, where the fuck yeah, are you? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm only three miles away. <coughs> what's that? What's the high street in Manchester? Did, did you find this when you was your film star that they didn't understand? No, they don't Dean understand it sometimes. Spoke, you know, like, subtitles, did you have to have a word, did you have to have a word like with them about the script? Did you have script approval? No, it was because I'm that, that well famous known, and famous. well known. I could, I could have total control. <laughs> creative, creative control, they told me so. <laughs> Inspector Woke says, yeah, but let's be honest, the University of Salford is in Manchester. I don't think it is. I think the Crescent is actually Salford, isn't it? Well, it's one, right next to the... Me. I went to Salford Uni and I was in Media City. That was my campus. Which my, is mine was the Red Building, which is the Crescent, which yeah, is that's Salford. Salford. It's the that, A6. Yeah, that's got to be. It's right on the cusp, but it's Salford. It's, yeah, no, I'm not... I mean, you can that. walk into town. Is it Swan Street? See, Media City confuses me. Because it's like... Media City, the, that's near Old Trafford, isn't it? Yeah. Media City. Is that Salford, Media City, Salford Keys? I know it said Salford, Salford Keys, Keys, but it's part of that not in Manchester, or is it all Salford? Well, do you know when... Cause I find this hilarious that City fans who proclaim that they're all from Manchester want to say that Old Trafford is in Salford <laughs> and don't know their own fucking local geography. Cheadle fucking wankers. The, the boundary of Trafford and Salford yeah. is Water's Edge. Uh, right. at the, the bottom of Sykes Ferguson way. Right. Okay. So, like the the Irwell. The, so, the no, no, no. The the um the docks. The docks. Right. That's so the where... docks is Salford. Right. Okay. They're no, called Manchester don't. Docks. Right. But, confusingly. Right. Yeah. So which side is Old Trafford on then? Trafford. Side. Trafford. Trafford side. But so people say that as well, from. don't they? They say Old Trafford in Salford. And also, right, that's not even a thing. Like, oh, he's not from Manchester. He's from Trafford. City fans invented yeah. that nonsense. 
Like no one's ever said. It's because Ten Borough is a greater Manchester, yeah. right? Of which Manchester is one of them. And that go is like a thin strip of land that goes like I think Eaton Park might be in it. Is Whitefield mm -hmm. in it? And then it comes all the way no, down no. to like Wivenshaw. So it's this big. Th if you look at the M60, right? Yeah, you've yeah. got this sort of like north-south big thin strip. That's the city of Manchester Borough, right? And then if you come south and, and start going left and right of that, you have Trafford, mm. which is on on one side of it. That yeah. will encompass the likes of. Hale, Altrincham, Stretford, uh, oh, yeah. Old Trafford, and, and all of them sort of areas. Parkington. 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 Yeah. yeah. Carrington. Yeah. Carrington. Uh, you've said so that's Traffic, Davenport that's Green. Said yeah. Davy Hume. I also live there. <clears throat> uh, and then you've got Salford, which is a borough of Greater Manchester, but it's also its own independent city. That's why you have pink bins in Salford, right? Yeah. Um, then you you've got bin, Rochdale, lid. Lid. Oldham. I think. Bolton might be a, one of the boroughs of Greater Manchester. You know all the boroughs of Greater Manchester. Manchester. Hey, I tell you what, you're you a geography know. teacher, you stay. Can you do then you've got all the geography can, uh, this. Then you've got Tameside, then you've got Stockport. Yeah. So you've got Manchester, Trafford, uh, Oldham, Rochdale, Tameside, Stockport. Um, it's Cheshire one. You said, you said Rochdale. Bolton, Wigan's one. Wigan, yeah. Uh, Berry. So where's Cheshire then? I don't know if Berry is, you know. But nah, not Berry where's Cheshire. Is yeah. Cheshire yeah. on the other side? Cheshire's a, uh, a, a county, so it's a totally different on. thing. Yeah, it's people like live in fucking Alaska now, going, "What? Yeah, the fuck are these guys?" Yeah, on you've, about, yeah. you've named them all there. I you've missed one, but I don't know which one. Right, so you said Berry, you said Bolton, you said Manchester, you said Rochdale, you said Salford, you said Stockport, same side, Trafford, Wigan. You've missed one, and you know it. I'll give you a clue. He started out his career there. Oldham. Yes. Yeah, Oldham. Oldham, you well, see. See, I like that. How you knew that and give him a bit of so a... So that's, hey. that's the 10 see, boroughs of... That's the 10 of Greater right, Manchester. But the thing is, like, you, Bolton and Berry and uh, fucking Stretford. No. You no see, it's different. That that's one, different. I get, Bolton and Berry. I get if you're saying, like... If you take it from the town hall, Thetiad is 2.4 mile away. See, this is the sort of... If you take it from the town hall, Old Trafford is 2.2 .2 mile away. Just because the way you draw your fucking line don't make it yeah. anything. And also, no one even knows who you are. Nice. <laughs> so if anyone thinks Manchester, oh, it's the Bobby Child on Manchester yeah, United. Right. Like that's the fucking, right. Manchester is probably famous in a massive United, part because of Manchester United. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Do you know what I mean? Most right. people in Spain call United Manchester. I love that. In the way yeah, we yeah. call Barcelona Barca, but it's not. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. I love that. I love it when I hear that, Manchester. In Manchester. But yeah, no one, when I was growing up, I never in my life said, I'm from Trafford. That's not a thing. Yeah, when you're going old, it's like, where you're from, you Trafford. would always say like, If I'd have said that, people would have gone, what? Where's that? So when, like, when you're so old, mate of mine was from Moston, and we was in basic training, and we walked into this room. <laughs> Moston's fucking rough in it, right? Right, Moston, yeah, we'll get to go on. <laughs> and I tread carefully here, because you know, is it, some is of it, us have uh, to walk <laughs> out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get to our transport. I know he watches, right? So he's in a special boat service now, my mate. Uh, he's 20 years deep. So um, shout out to Ash. So we've walked into uh, this room in basic training and he's got a United hat on uh, and we talk like we talk. And my yeah. accent used to be way more shameless as well. <laughs> Mine was proper fucking scar. Oh, right. right. <laughs> my accent's Yours really soft. Yours is mild a little. Ma ma well, mild. Yeah, it's like yeah. seven years living yeah. with all these fucking bumpkins that I had to live with it proper. Like there's a video of me at an FC United game in 2005 and you swear to God, it's like someone's just fucking pulled someone off the we need set that video. of shameless. I need that video. Yeah, Good. I need to fucking see that. Fucking party. Um, <laughs> scar. <laughs> um, but yeah, we walked into this room and this guy's gone, oh, are you two from Manchester? So we've gone, yeah. And Drosden's technically Tameside. Yeah. But yeah. again, it's fucking two mile away from the city centre. Bro, I, when I think of Drosden, I don't think Tameside. Again, yeah, you it's think a weird one, isn't it? Anyway. You think of yeah. Manchester but rather I, than Tameside. But I grew up in Openshaw, which again is actually yeah, the city yeah. of Manchester. Yeah. So I'm Openshaw of <laughs> Drosden. Yeah. He's so, so man, we're so man on it. Sorry, come on, like. Let's have this a, this guy, is, he got, a man we went, oh yeah, where are you from? I've gone Drosden. <laughs> he's gone Moston. Yeah. And he goes, oh, I'm from Manchester too. Where did he say? If he said Manchester. Berry. Nah. <laughs> mate, Ash, not, Ash went, nah. I thought you just said you was from Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You pulled him up about it. Uh, it's like right. when you go on Aldi, though, when you say you're Manchester and they're not. Because from I, all I, had, I had a mate like, like, from Oldham and she used to say the same. She said Manchester. And I thought Oldham's a bit. Yeah. But then she made the point of if she said Oldham, yeah, they wouldn't know, people would go, they? what? Yeah. Old what? Oldham, it's where's that? It's easy to say Manchester. So it's better to it? say Manchester. 
And if you know, you know. And then you just say, well, look, I'm from Oldham. But, you know what I mean? If you don't know, you think Manchester's a village anyway. Yeah, it's when, when someone goes, oh, I'm from Manchester, whereabouts? You go, oh, it's Oldham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met an American once on holiday. And he said to me, we asked him where I was from, I said Manchester. He went, oh, shit. I just met a girl from uh, Manchester. You probably know her, uh, Lindsay. I went, she's my cousin. <laughs> yeah, I know her. Like, it's just like, like a it's small, a street? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, get a grip. Oh no, she's the next street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan Clark. Lindsay with the two eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way we met her. <laughs> Excuse me. Peter Kelly has been a member of the Academy for 33 months. Says, Jay. What is the best way to be successful in CRA ballots? I have signed up to it. Just wondering, if we get into games next season, I'll win the ballot. It's it's on a game by game basis. Now I think you need sell like, CDs. <laughs> I think you need um, a sort of a, like to join a, a different part, like a segment of the CRA, and then you have someone who deals with all it. But first things first, download the app, go on the app, sign up for it, and then you do it on a game by game basis. Like I only do it every game. I, you can't you sign up for the season. Have you, you have noticed a massive change to the atmosphere with that? I have, but I'm in the middle of it, but I yeah, noticed yeah, the response. Yeah. You sit um, a bit further away, don't you? I'm on top deck. Yeah. yeah. The response from like people who aren't in the CRA seems to be there's been an improvement. Yeah, and, cool. and I know from standing there that we do get involved. But then sometimes you can be in that own little bubble, can't you, where, mm. you know, if you're in J-Stand, whatever, you think the atmosphere's not improved. But there's been good feedback. I think it's really Are good. Are they idea. expanding it over to the other side? I think so. There's talks, aren't there? See, do you know what? We have to wait and see, though, what's yeah. happening with these. If, if I could get our new owner the in Edlock and just sit them down and be like, listen, our kid. Is what you need to do. It's funny how you wanted to do that at one point as a serious piece of content. <laughs> Not the new owners, the old owners, or the current No, owners. I just wanted to. Just, no, just it wanted escalated to talk. though, didn't I just it? Wanted talk. Yeah, we I went just from, wanted to talk. Yeah, mm, we went just wanted to talk. What's right, going on I'm not talk. even going to ask any questions right, we, there. This Florida's got some rough laws. Yeah, we, 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 had, really we came up with the idea, I right? And it was really annoying. The sky went and did it, and we thought of it first. We then, let's just go and doorstep the Glazers, right? And we had people in Tampa who were showing us where they lived. And then we look on and the mad thing is we we're literally on, looking at flights. Yes, yeah, we went on Google Image on Google Earth. I've or seen whatever that interview. And he's outside his house on Google Earth, ponytail, <laughs> whatever, no way. whatever name you call him. He's ponytail there. Baldy face. Bo ponytail, <laughs> baldy, pony face. Pony what? Ponytail, baldy face. Sorry. Looks like someone's put a bobble on your nutsack. Yeah, oh, he's there, stop. right outside his house. So right, let's. So we went. Let's go down there and interview him, and then Steve had some other ideas about. What he wanted to do. Just wanted to talk to him. Yeah, which would have meant I can just imagine. To to him. Yeah. I can imagine. So we looked at a hundred percent I just wanted to talk to him, but I'd have lost my shit point one second in. Look, prick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like it's a great bit of content that so gets removed off YouTube. Um <coughs> controversial. It's used, it's used, it's used, yeah, it's used it does fucking numbers. It though. does do numbers. <laughs> Sky <laughs> did it. Sky did it and so they went like, mad, didn't we it? said, right, let's they go down there. Yeah. Let's go down there, let's doorstep him and let's just get like, oh, man, that's yeah. mental. So we looked at flights and COVID was still a thing, wasn't it? Mm. And it was like the Bible of applications. Yeah, 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 and yeah. To fill, you couldn't just get a flight. We we're going to book it. And it's like, no, you've got to fill this in. You've got to have the embassy mm. approve it. You've got to yeah. do all this other stuff. There's an issue there. You know, it was like, it would have took ages. Far. And we were trying to pick through it all. And it's like an 11 day waiting thing as well. Okay. So you applied and you had to wait 11 days. You couldn't do it sooner than that. Yeah, yeah there's all Esther's and, and yeah, shit like yeah. It just wasn't happening. In the meantime, Sky, who obviously had someone out there already, went and doorstepped him. Yeah. him got a reaction oh then no, someone else did wild, it with that, a very it? polite accent yeah and it was so annoying because you just wanted to see his grin would, on camera <laughs> grabbing and going come here Imagine what have you got to say to United fans <laughs> as he just pummeled <laughs> into you know a bloody pulp do you know what I, I had <laughs> every I had every intention of going being like very calm and professional you wouldn't have lasted but I would have not I would, if the You're way no he walked chance. off from that lady yeah. and she kept it really professional I'd have fucking clipped his heels together and been like who the fucking hell you think you are you you prick he was telling me <laughs> about we were planning what we're gonna do and as he was telling me what would happen he was getting angry just telling me and i thought oh, there's no man. way i'm gonna say <laughs> he was getting angry and angry and then he's I'm like have you done that switch i'm gonna kill you i'm like no i would have paid doing this now what's the, the money what's, just to see that yeah. what's the bail situation in yeah. florida <laughs> <laughs> no, no. and we were very new as well as like as a channel we thought this is we, we can't we, we haven't got him got the money but if they don't if sell that, send like. the state yeah if they don't that's, listen i'm i'm all for it i'm all for it I've been to war for a long fucking time and I got an itch I need to scratch. There was I mean? a lot, yeah, that's that's what worried me as well. And apparently a few people are saying, pointing out the, the, the Florida gun laws aren't too strict. Uh, the white people are pretty easy, Jake. Exactly, do you know what I mean? So I think you'd be on that front. Not that we're advocating any of this stuff, by the way, we're just talking well, hypothetically. Just, if, when we're in Florida, we're going to do a bit of shooting. Yes, exactly. Um, legal range, <laughs> at targets. Um, no particular individual. Fred Army says, can you buy the blue 
Stratford Paddock sweatshirts Steve's wearing from anywhere? Uh, currently, no. Why not? It's a disgrace. Don't know. Um, you can buy lots of Stratford Paddock merch. You can go to paddockmerch.com <coughs> and you can also go visit Stratford Paddock FC if you got oh, The point I was making anyway about if I could sit an owner down, um, we want obviously Old Trafford to be replicated both sides. Do what you got to do on the south side. Yeah, let's get this big bowl, make it 100,000. We want safe standing in the Stratford end and in case down yep. lower. And I want it full of dickheads, unallocated seating. Yeah. Cheap booze, Mental. and I want people off their fucking nut at both ends. No, okay. And I want there's a Premier League rule that your away end has to touch the side of the pitch. Do you know that? No, no. So the, the the away end has to be adjacent to the side of the pitch. So you can't technically bang them in like tier three. How the fuck does Newcastle get away with it? Yeah, Mate, have you point. been in St James? Aren't you? It's, you're up in the gods. So Mate. like ours technically doesn't comply because they're they're one block up in the corner. Right. So they, the, one of the, I saw I something that they have to, end, um, they have to run a, yeah. a, I think a, a row of free seats like down to to meet the Premier League requirements. So unless the requirements have changed, because everyone's gone, that's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Um, because actually, whether we like it or not, and we, we, we all want to fuck away fans about, but away fans do make the atmosphere. You're right. Mm-hmm. You need the away fans. Yeah, you you need a bit of that. Like it's a, it's a shame as well because you might away fans that don't turn up at Old Trafford. Mm. Like what do you mean atmosphere like? Yeah, yeah. Well, city this season were a joke. Look at the Barcelona ones. They put you in a double glazed thing at the back and fuck you off. Yeah. No yeah. wonder Poor Barcelona that. don't have an atmosphere. That, There's no atmosphere in the new yeah, camp. I was so glad that I went in the old end because my lot were in the way end and it was like uh, like glass. Steve was saying yeah. behind dirty perspex, like uh, you know up in the gods. You can barely see anyway. The perspex is filthy. And it's like, yeah. nice one, I can't see anything. Spend like. all that money to get in there and fly. Yeah, and it, it was shabby, but you want a bit of that. Because you remember that. when United did it, didn't they? They moved the away fans, like you were saying. It just killed it. Like, cause Where did they? What, up, up top? They put them on one of the different set. They did it for about a month, I think. Or they, yeah, it wasn't long. Yeah. It was a while ago as well. You don't want them to have K-stand. No, but realistically, that. that probably would be like the best places for, for an away club to have an end yeah. and have an away end. And then it would be mental. It would really lift the atmosphere in, in every ground. Yeah. But then you don't want to give them that prime mm. sort of location. Yeah, they tried a few things as well. They did. Is it the beginning, uh, the start of Stratford, and it's like for eighteen to twenty-five year olds or something. Okay. Like they've tried a few things, but I think you know you just got to have a dialogue with the fans because fans know what they're on about. An old postman from sale. Yeah, you've got to have a dialogue with the fans, and then you can get a bit of an idea on what is needed. And it's like, they did that with the CRA, but I think there's been a few bits of back and forth as to, to the direction and stuff like that. Because it's such a tapping for the club. They haven't got to do much. Do you know what I mean? It's not like you've got to spend any money. And, and also it has an effect. Look at our home record. That's not a coincidence. No. No. We keep losing make, games away. Games anyway. And we keep it's not losing games, at home. Though, Safe standing as well, if you put the rail seats in properly. And I don't think United have done this just yet. I know they put the rail seats in in some of the areas, but what they've not done yet is do what you're allowed to do in rail seats, which is you can have 1.5 people per seat. Okay. So Ooh. for every two seats, you get three people right. because of the rails, because right. it's it's safer, it's safe standing. Yeah, yeah. So actually when people go, oh, if you replicated like North Stand on the South side, you won't yeah. quite get 100K. Well, you fucking will if you put safe yeah, standing yeah, yeah. like the full length of the Stratford N and K stand and it would be rocking. So what would happen? Would they have to go over the railway on that side? No, not anymore. No, that was always the issue. But I think United only houses on the opposite side ready for that. Anyway, so you not are okay. you not about to rebuild? You're about. I to wouldn't. Re- I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, rebuild it. it. You, re- you would. Not, yeah, I am. Really? Yeah. I get. I get it. I was like the games like modern day. Like you need a modern day stadium, like Tottenham and example. But Old Trafford, Old Trafford, man. It's I still. I mean, me and him have uh, spoke about this a few times, and I get your point. Like it's historic. It's venue. But I isn't still it? think you can keep that. I still feel you can I don't have that. Know. And maybe, you know, like you, you literally move parts of it to the new bit, like the Munich tunnel or whatever, or you mm. just replicate it. I still feel like you would have that. I still feel Do like you feel it'd be, really? Yeah. I, I just feel that Do you get my point in what I'm saying? I understand, no, like, listen, I'm not gonna criticise anyone who doesn't want to see not or traffic not down, I get it. It's such an emotional thing and I'm I've, I'm you know, kinda of there myself. I just feel that especially when you go to the stadiums thing, uh, the amount of rebound you'd have to joke, do mate. you'd have Tottenham's. to do Old Trafford. I don't know if you would. Because so Goops did you see that video? Times, that I video that like come out, which one? the one where it did the free, the free ideas. Have you seen it? I'll try and send it to you. 
if people have seen it on here, like it just gives you a different perspective. Like you were saying before, the Academy Stadium next door to a new build and revamp Old Trafford and turn it into a bowl we and all sorts of. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies, mate. I've talked to Clanger there. Is the mic on? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Sorry, mate. No, I can't believe bad. that. That is class. Sorry. Mate, that's the first time I've ever seen him go. Oh. What's going on here? Why is he <laughs> saying these words? Hey, I've mate. waited for My many bad. years for this. My bad. Matthias Anderson uh, has been a member of the, of the Academy for 28 months. Says, will there be any restock on the Stretford FC Puma clothes? Uh, yeah, but we sell out. So you've got to fucking shape yourself. Whatever's on there now is what's in stock. There'll be a new kit coming out, which the members are currently in the process of choosing. So if you want to get in a mixer, get in a fucking mixer. Um, Danny says, I'd rather a new build best in class that dwarfs or clubs buying UV still have their history. It's in the name. It's not the same grass. Cheers. Anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a, um, a hot topic. What did you make, Steve? Because we've got five minutes left, so I'm going to squeeze in a bit of actual relevance to what's happening right now. And I'll ask you both. Of the whole Euros, 2028, United aren't nominated or whatever is applying for the stadium. Not surprised, to be honest. Mm. I mean, the only thing that says, I couldn't care less whether the Euros is played at Old Trafford. Honestly, I couldn't give a toss. The only thing I think it shows is just sort of how we can't take things for granted anymore. Mm -hmm. The argument, I think the pipeline is, well, they can't guarantee the stadium won't be getting redeveloped during that time. So there's no point in applying because if it is, we won't be able to do it anyway. But the fact that the stadium hasn't been redeveloped for so long is the issue for me. Yeah, that's Whether what it's it, rebuild that's or what revamp, because we know it needs doing. We know we've had leaks in the roof. We know you've had people squashed in, you know, in terms of the, the leg room and stuff. You know there's a lot that needs doing. You know that you go to other grounds and you're like, this just pisses on us. Joe, one yeah. of the best grounds I've been to, um, San Mames, uh, Athletic Bill Bowes. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Really? Is it new or is it historic? It's a new one. I tell you what, they've, they've got the work cut out in Sevilla away and next week, haven't they? Mm. Have you seen the view from that? It's like it, it's like a cliff. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? The, the pictures going around are true. I've no, seen it on I've the internet, that. so I imagine it is true. Um, let me see if I can find it because it is a bit like um, what really? Um, what do you what do you make of that whole? I just old, think like you know years ago, Old Trafford was used for FA Cup semis. One, it it was used for the national. You know when Beckham scored that free kick and stuff like they used it, didn't they? But just shows how far well, it's, you know what I mean if you looked at the 18 years pre-Glazers and the transformation that I've the ground went under from being the mishmashed sort of like terracing in the Stretford end terracing all along the bottom row or the bottom block of, of all the rest of the stands fucking hanging bleach seats yeah, concrete yeah. shit yeah. All, all, all the way around it and then that big open <laughs> corner in the Stretford end like from what would that have been like 1987 Something mm. like that. What a fucking dump. <laughs> but that's the first ground I got took to. So oh, yeah, yeah. 19 fucking layers of different colored red paint on the like railings that are so smooth <laughs> just because they're twatted in paint. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I used to love them days. And then obviously not that down. Um, they redeveloped that into the Stretford in 92, 93 season. Mm. They, they made it a bowl for about 94, 95 summer. Uh, 96, ready for the Euros. They they built the three tiers yeah, of, of the north yeah. stand. A couple of years later, they've they've gone bosh with the two ends. And then the the work and the planning was done prior to 2004 Besides. to do the corners, yeah. um, not the quadrants as they're called, I guess. Um, and then since they've owned it, all they've done is moved the disabled section around a little bit and opened up so some of the exits in, in, in case time. Some of that was le le legal with the yeah. other didn't they? So they've done. So what year was that they did the quadrant? 2004. So they've done I think they were completed in 2006, which is a year after they joined. But Mate, technically that stuff was done in two, under Martin Edwards. Oh. It's, it's interesting because Woodward, when he did his rare interviews, he did one with Mitten for United We Stand. It's a very good interview. There's two with him. Oh, yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know. I know. I know that's definitely the one. Um, but he, when they asked him about the, the the stadium, he literally, you know, usually with Woodward, he get a little bit guff, don't you? Oh, well, there's something we're looking into, and right? obviously, you know, there's lots of factors we have to uh, consider here, and we're listening to the fans, and we understand. That there was none of that. He just went, "No, we're not doing anything." And I was like, "That's the only answer he gave that was pretty short and like." And you think, "With well, he's not even." When you look at all the other ones that are on the country, like Emirates and. And like Tottenham's and all the top ones, they way behind. Aren't Eighteen they? years before the Glazers took over, there wasn't a fucking week I don't think went by without something mm. being done on the stadium. 
Yeah. And then in in that time since, they've done nothing. Nothing now because it's not. Just they don't nothing. need to, do they? Uh, we've got the image of Sevilla away. There you go. Give me that. I mean, see that's unsafe standard. Jeez. That is. I'm getting nervous because I've got a bit of a thing with bad heights. <laughs> Joe filmed me in um, in Thailand because there was a bit in Thailand where it was like that and there was a, the Man. railing stopped so I was walking like that so he thought it was hilarious to film me. Hey, that is bad, Thailand. isn't it? That yeah. One little trip there, you're down, yeah, aren't you? Imagine after 12 pints or whatever it is, you're drinking <laughs> overnight and, you, you know, imagine when Andy Marshall what, scores Imagine when we score. Yeah, exactly. Limbs and, everywhere. Yeah, limbs everywhere, including the hospital. Uh, Peter Kelly says, it's a joke, Croke Park was part of 83... Uh, wasn't part of it. 83k capacity in a full standing, no allocations, just terracing behind one of the goals. Uh, Hill 16, sorry, said Joe Croke Park wasn't part of it. I think this is the whole because they didn't summon an. They're Northern using Ireland. the Aviva, aren't they, in Dublin? Are they? Right, okay, because there's been. Sort Again, of, it's another new stadium. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not. For it's me, it's not. I don't now. care about the, the necessary the, the thing weird about ground. the whole um, Euros. It's just the. It's just a reminder, in it, that you can't. Yeah, the status has slipped because if it was a nice, a shiny Old Trafford that had been. Modernized yeah. and, and all the rest of that. People going about it having a screen. I don't give a fuck about a screen. I'm watching mm. the match. No, I don't. <clears throat> what yeah, am I, I looking at the screen for? Like it just add, yeah. just adds to you. But I understand nonsense. that some people think that that represents, and it probably does on some level represent neglect in, in a way that we haven't got a screen. And, yeah. And there's other things like you go. You know, some people go, oh, we haven't got Wi-Fi. I couldn't give a fuck if yeah, we've got Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is bollocks. But right. some people do care about shit like that. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. If you were, you know, if you're in the press box, you haven't got Wi-Fi. You might be bothered. But last thing I need is getting more Wi-Fi when I'm at the game. It's, they put you it. Know in, I mean, it's two hours just for the rugby, off. don't they? The rugby final. They put the screens in, don't they? Yeah, but they put it on top but of the seats. Exactly. So where would you put it anyway? Even if you, if you, well, you'd have one. to hang it off the front of one of the stands. Wouldn't Mm. Uh, Jimmy F who's been a member of the academy for 27 months says relocate Old Trafford to Longsight the Longsight Arena has a ring to it <laughs> wasn't the Longsight Arena where one of the FA Cups was played in the fucking 1800s Dollar Field Stadium not far there you go you see history get everything love that channel. Eve look how Eve was in there straight away yeah love Ethan, that, it's one of the halls now isn't it hey, one of the MMU halls Ethan loves his history don't you Ethan when was the last time Newcastle won a trophy? Ooh. Fucking years Ooh. ago. Jordy Maggot, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's done me there. He said won the championship. When was it? 2018. Well done, son. Uh, Can we just point out the, the sign as well, by the way? No one's... Cal there. What a job he's done on that, by the way. Seriously, I was saying it before when he put it on. Oh, right. Props for it. Have you not even know, noticed it? Is that good? I don't notice when he does Cal, good unbelievable, things. unbelievable, so mate. consistent with it. Seriously. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, wow, look at what Callum's done, because he does that on the regulars. Okay. So, do you know what I mean? Sorry, yeah. sorry. No, no, it's all right. You just come in here and you make me look no, bad in no, front no, of the staff. No, no, I'm not that. I'm just, you, you know, know looking mean? after the employees, you know hey, what I mean? Mr. Bloody Arthur Scargill over here. <laughs> uh, when's the picket line? Um, when can, uh, where can, I've had enough out of you, to be honest sorry, with you, RH, yeah? Well, I've got to have to get you back from film star, you know what I mean? So... Uh, where can people find you? What you up to? Uh, Instagram, uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, yeah, yeah. Wikipedia. <coughs> uh, if you want be to interesting find... to have a look at that at the end of the podcast. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get that edited. Instagram, uh, rh underscore elite coaching. The YouTube, the Twitter, everything. Get it followed. Be much appreciated. Thank you, guys. No, always a pleasure having you on. Abdullah Ibrahim has been a member of the first team for eleven months. So screens in a stadium would be useful for other events. For a footy match, a screen just replaces a stadium announcer. We do need to modernise though. Uh, Bo Cat says up the RH. Glenn finds YouTube is a con. Says up the RH. Uh, big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this podcast. Don't forget to hit like as well. Before we go, Mr. Stephen Alston, what's on the agenda for Paddock FC this weekend? Uh, playing FC St. Helens tomorrow. Uh, five so games left to go. St. Helens have got a, a, a football team. Yeah. What is going on? How has that happened? Uh, so playing them. Performances then, have been there though, Stevie, haven't they? Yeah, results haven't. Disappointing um, results, but like, if anyone's seen like the highlights and stuff, like I'm not wigging out of the players. No, cause, not. Yeah, it's good. Like the perform, like obviously we get the stats from from what we've been doing, and um, we're creating chances. We, I mean, you, you're talking some some games, 70, 75, 78 percent of the ball, which is fucking yeah, bananas. A little bit more um, penetration, a little bit better in front of goal. Lost Kieran, didn't we? He was a goal a game and an assist every other game. Yeah. The fucking drop off in goals when you lose that out of the team has has been drastic. Yeah. Um, so not been a great season, but it's been a it's been Learning. more of development still. <clears throat> so you can't win everything. We're in a real league, aren't we? No. Uh, playing against real teams, established teams, and you know a lot of the teams that are playing are, you know, have got 
you know, parent teams in like the, the counties and, and yeah. stuff like that. This is a real level of football. I don't think people understand the level of where we're at and where we're trying to get to and just how good that fucking level is. I um, think from <coughs> where, where you first started to where you are now, it's a mass, dramatic like, oh improvement, God, yeah. like, st- you know, style-wise, even like quality, quality-wise, with, with how fast you've come. But so I never came into this thinking, I know what I'm fucking doing here. <clears throat> the reason we did it was to learn. Mm. And that was a massive factor in all of it was to, do I know what I'm fucking talking about when I'm doing match reviews and this, that, and the other? Or... Is I've, have I got a lot to learn? I've learned fucking loads, loads in the yeah. last three years. You know, you get to see what a manager can impact. And I make mistakes, I probably make mistakes every yeah. week still. Um, but I hope I learn from them. Yeah, that's the main and thing, isn't I, it? And I start recognising things in games that I didn't recognise two, three years ago. And I start seeing, you know, where gaps appear, why gaps appear. Is it yeah. someone being lazy? Or have I got the, the shape wrong? Yeah. You know, the first thing I do after every game is go, did I fuck up? That's no, class. Oh, good, that, mate. Some, sorry, to didn't mean something then. Someone's asking, SK asks, how far off Wrexham are Stretford Paddock? Fucking long way off Wrexham. Yeah, Wrexham. Right. I mean, for those who didn't see it last week, that Wrexham game. And that's kind of, what an advert for non-league that was. Yeah, that was mental. Oh, yeah, unbelievable. Um, and Great game on it, that. Yeah. I think Ryan Reynolds tweeted, or Rob McElhenney uh, tweeted, uh, the interactions on that game did more than Arsenal-Liverpool. Wow. By a lot yeah. as well. Um, which shows that if you just put non-league out there, uh, and shout out to Hashtag as well, because I think they are a point of winning their league this year. Uh, this weekend, sorry. I think okay. they need a point to win the league. And they've done, I think they did 21 or 22 consecutive wins. And they had Decent a mad, up. they had a mad like indifferent start to the season. They had like nine wins, four draws, seven losses. Mm. Just like just a proper normal sort of like thing. And then he just went, all right, let's just do 22 fucking yeah, wins. On a mad run. What an Are unbelievable you close with them, run. with them guys? Yeah, I chat to, to Neil and, yeah. and to Spencer pretty Good. regular. And like, I, I spoke to Spencer fairly recently about stuff we're doing, stuff they're doing. Yeah, and yeah. and you know, there's there's lessons to be learned on both sides Brilliant. of stuff, I think. But yeah, the, the, the learning's been my favorite bit of it. You know, and, I'm, and I'm glad that we've done it at a level low enough where I'm not gonna fucking slow the team down, yeah, yeah. and me still you can learning learn on the job, guy is, yeah. is is still like being able to like match what the lads are doing, and um, I think we're a higher level than everyone around us. We have got a bit of a cut final factor with the cameras and stuff, which yeah. the lads have got to learn to overcome. Um, but the the level of football that we're playing, I'm very confident in saying that you know we're a couple of leagues higher than where we should be, mm. and the performances isn't, have been there, but the results haven't. Yeah, and I'd rather have the performances. Results, aren't you? than just be scuffing wins mm. or scuffing draws every week yeah. and deluding myself into thinking we're doing well. Because, you know, obviously yeah. you, you are or you aren't, aren't you? And, you know, we've, we've battered teams and lost 1-0. And they'll be like, yeah. eh, we've fucking done it. And you'll be like, yeah, but you were shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> just before I've I've been having Verma's asked, how does Ashley Williams help in Paddock's day? We will see. We will um, see. Oh. We will see. But, yeah, oh. Ashley's coming on board as a sporting director. We'll announce the full details of all of that going soon. He was going to come on as academy director. We are going to be introducing juniors over the summer, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then after having a chat with Ash, he's decided actually he wants to get a bit more hands-on with the first team. But for those who aren't aware of Ash's career, at 16, he was chinned off by West Brom. Yeah. And instead of just going to another academy, he went and played for Hendersford in the Southern, Conf- uh, Com- uh, Southern Prem. So that's like two le- leagues below where Wrexham are now. Right, okay. Uh, 16, 17, 18. Played in their first team there, got a move from there to Stockport County. From Stockport County, went to Swansea, came up through the leagues, obviously ended up playing for Wales and all the rest of that sort of stuff. So when I've got someone who's got, like, if you had someone that, let's say Rio for an example, yeah, he's, he's only ever played there, at the top it? level, yeah. he didn't have a fucking clue what non league's about yeah, or, yeah. or this, that, and other. Yeah. And it, it might be harder for Rio to relate to non league players, but not for Ash who's. Because he's been there, hasn't Yeah, it? he's been there. Yeah. So there's, there's differences in the game, and we've spoken. You know a lot about what the differences in the game are and there's not a lot of differences mm. it's a little bit of attitude a little bit of luck you know a little bit of you know fine not margin, dropping as many mistakes as you would you get away with a few more mistakes at this level versus that level and then yeah. you know in the prem everyone's just fucking very good at yeah. everything aren't they? but i'm very excited for what ash is going to bring to That's the club great addition, and, that, and really you know, there's there's somebody else that we're going to be learning from as well um that's been involved with united for 30 plus years that's going to be doing some stuff with us too amazing really? exciting plans mate. Right. 30 plus years 
Interesting. How long was Fergie at United for? 27 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> let's leave it on uh, that one, lads. Uh, let's let that hang there. Uh, go and check him out on all his <coughs> endeavours. Go and check out the RH. You know where to find it's me. Awesome. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel as well. We're going to be back later on this week. We've got the preview for the Nottingham Forest game. We've also got the Nottingham Forest watch along. It's going to be myself, Joe Smith, Adam McCullough. That's been the RH. That's been Stephen Allison. I've been Jay Motti. This has been The Brew. Thanks for watching.